Greetings to all. We are from the Faculty of Computing and Information Technology. So the subject code for this is BAIT2004 and the name is Fundamentals of Computer Networks. So this will be our assignment. So I would like to briefly introduce us. So we are teaching Chen and Yong Lin from RS Year 1 Century Group 1. And this is our report for the FCN assignment. So in this assignment, we are hired as land engineers by Pan Borneo Berhad. We will be designing and setting up local area networks for the company in various locations. Besides, we will be configuring initial settings on the network devices, such as routers and switches, and also configure IP address parameters and hosts to provide end-to-end -end connectivity. So the table below shows the basic composition of number of hosts that make up the network. So location A, administration department, 50 hosts. Location B, ground floor, manufacturing department, 80 hosts. Location B, first floor, human resources department, 6 hosts. Accounting department, 16 hosts. Location C, sales department, there are 3 rooms with 3 laptops and 1 printer each. So there are total 12 hosts. And location D, warehouse department, there are 20 end devices and 4 printers, so there are total 24 hosts. So for addressing design, we implemented the VLSM method, uh, which is the variable length subnet mask. It is, it is also known as classless addressing. So VLSM definitely have more, advantage, more advantages over FLSM, so we chose VLSM. So VLSM basically allows us to create subnets with different subnet masks and locate IP addresses in a more efficient and effective manner. It uses smaller subnet masks for subnets with fewer hosts and vice versa. So in our network design, we decided to distinguish between departments by giving them an independent subnet for each department. So each subnet consists of a number of PCs, laptops, or printers, network printers to simulate the hosts on the network. So they are connected to switches by copper straight through cables. After that, the switches are connected to the gigabit Ethernet interface on the router to form multiple local area networks. So we will represent each subnet with different colors to ease in categorizing them. So as mentioned in the question, we need to consider the number of addresses needed for the 30% growth in the first and second largest subnet. Thus, we have computed some calculations from the network design. So the first largest subnet will be location B, manufacturing department. There are 80 hosts. After the 30% growth, it result in 104 hosts. So the second largest subnet will be location A, administration department. There are 50 hosts, and after the 30% growth, there are 65 hosts. So these are the sample calculations for the first largest subnet and second largest subnet. So this will be our assigned address design. So as you can see, we use VLSM as our method to calculate IP addresses. So the departments are arranged in uh, based on the number of hosts in deciding order. So as you can see, 108, 69, 28, 20, 16, 10. And the uh, details are at here. Sunday mass, Sunday address, first visible, last visible, broadcast address. So this will be our, our addressing table. So as you can see, uh, the switch 0 is connected to the gigabit inter interface 1 slash 0 on the router with an IP address 172.16.0.1 at the router and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.128. So let's see. Uh, in this subnet, consists of PC65, 66, and 67. So they both, they each have 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. And default gateway is belongs is is the IP address of the router. So basically, router and switch take up the first two usable IP address, and the host take up the third, starting from the third. Besides, we also constructed the range of assignable IP addresses for hosts based on the location and departments. So location A, administration department sixty five PC zero to sixty four. The range is 1.0.131.0.254 and the default gateway is 0 0.129. Now I would like to pass to Yilin to continue the presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Jim Shen. Now I'm Yilin. I'm going to present the network topology to our 
of our assignment. First picture is the screenshot of core topology of our network design. First, we use light blue color represent location A administration department. It consists of one switch, three pieces, and represents 65 hosts. Next, green color lo represents location B, ground floor manufacturing department. It consists of one switch and three pieces represent 104 hosts. And red color represents location B, first floor human resource department. Consists of one switch and three pieces represents six hosts. And yellow color represents location B, First floor accounting department, it consists of one switch and three pieces represents 16 holes. Next, light purple represent location C, sales department. Each room has one PC diagram representing three laptops and one printer. And total three rooms and one switch. Location D. Represent light orange color warehouse department. Three pieces representing 20 hosts and four network printers. Next is con network configurations for our router and switch. By default, we are going to configure the host name and password for the router and switch. By default, we are in the user accept mode. In order to configure the password, you need to enter the privilege mode, which is EN enable. Then we set the host name to main router and set the password to Cisco and the secret password, which is class. Then we also use the password configuration, password encryption service, and then set the banner MOTD. This procedure, this procedure is also applied to all the switch in the network. After that, we are going to configure the IP address for the interface on the router and switch. Then we are going to assign the IP address and subnet mask for the specific interface. After that, we use the no shutdown, shutdown command to enable the interface. This procedure also applies to other configure interface. So we are going to configure the VLAN 1 interface on the switch. So we need to assign the IP address and subnet mask to the VLAN and use no shutdown command to enable the interface. There is one extra step we need to compare to, to do to compare to the router is we need to configure the IP default gateway for the interface. Before we close finish configure the interface, we need to use the COPRST to save the running config to start our config. This procedure also apply to every switch in the network. Next, for the configuration of the host IP address, we need to open the window desktop IP config window to set the IP address subnet mask and default gateway. This also applies to every host. Except the printer, we need to open the config window to set. Next, I will proceed to pin the connectivity. These are the sample screenshot of us pinging the device in the network. So now we are going to demonstrate some of the pinging process using Cisco packet tracer. I will present the local lo local PC in one location ping. First, I will ping from PC0 to PC2 in location A. First, we need to know PC2 IP address. And PC0, we will ping the IP address. So as we can see, it shows the 0% loss for the connectivity. So from PC0 location A to PC2 location A, connectivity is successful. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you.